Hello friends, welcome back to Vlogmas Day. Oh my god, it's Vlogmas Day 20. There's like no days left. Hold on, it's time for it to reappear. I'm feeling so much better today. I've just got kind of like just the threat of a headache in the background. So I bought myself some energy drinks today because they tend to help. Sugar free, only sugar free. I don't know why. I can't explain it. Uh, but they tend to help when... I'm having these weird headache spells. Um, also, will she ever move the drill from the background? Probably not. Uh, so this morning I am editing. Editing. I'm gonna play a little bit of Animal Crossing. I'm gonna play the new game Parlia for my gaming channel. I wanna try that out, but I've been waiting to do it on camera. Um, and maybe some wildflowers. I've got all this week off, which is so exciting. So today is still one of my regular days off, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They are actual days off and Milo is at school. Leah's at work, Ella's at work, legit days off. I'm trying, because in the back of my mind, I'm like, you could paint something. You could paint a wall. You could put some wallpaper in the downstairs bathroom. No, I don't do any of those things. I need to clean up the house. Um, I need to get ahead with some content stuff that I want to do. I want to take the time to do things that are really useful or tick things off my list, not add more things to the list not paint a wall. I'm like, don't do it. You can't possibly understand the inner struggle. I even got paint out of the shed the other day, like, but I've already got this paint. I could paint. Then I was looking at different wardrobe systems, like, oh, maybe next year. And then I thought, well, maybe I could do it. I could Ikea and buy it today. No, stop doing this. Stop. I have time and that time is going to catch me up. So by the time I'm back to work, I'm kind of like, I feel like I'm on an even keel again, not that I've just put myself even further back because I decided to do four unnecessary projects while I was off. Listen, I know what I just said, but you know where this is going. Um, I put some washing in. I did some stuff that I needed to do. I came in the bedroom and it looked like this. For a minute, I have been considering moving the bedroom around. Originally, this was my parents' bedroom and they had the bed against the wall. If you see where the switches are, that is how the bedroom is laid out to be. But I wanted to change it up. I thought we'd have more room with it against the window. That has always been true, but I just need a change. And um, yeah, rather than just cleaning everything up, I'm gonna move the bedroom around. The worst part of this idea is that it's a bed with stuff underneath, you know, like a, there's a word for it, Osman bed. Um, so I'm gonna have to empty the bed before I move the bed. <sighs> but I'm still gonna do it. I'm already filled with regret because <laughs> I emptied the bed, even took the mattress and everything off it. I can't move this bed. I can't move this bed. Never in my life have I been bested by a piece of furniture I couldn't move. And I cannot move this bed. Um, I need to move everything from around it, just in case it's stuck on anything, but I don't get it. It's, I mean, it's heavy, but I can lift it, so why can't I move it? Has it got like sticky pads on the feet? I don't know. I did it also, my neighbor's little girl. I can hear it's just come out. Oh my goodness, can you see the devastation of my side of the bed. Also, which side of the bed will be mine? It will probably be that side. Lee insists that we have a side of the bed, okay? So we do kind of, like we sleep on the same side of the bed every night. But when I move the rooms around, which I am one to do, I haven't done it in like two years. Um, but when I have moved the rooms around in the past and when we've lived in different houses, when we go to hotels, we seem to gravitate towards a specific side, but it's not always our side that we have at home. I tend to have the side closest to the window or the wall. So like in this instance, I'll be over there. I think probably I choose that side because then I can hide my mess, like subconsciously. And Lee tends to be the one next to the door. Or maybe this is like a, you get murdered first, David thing. I don't know. But I think I will be over there. So I'm gonna leave my, my stuff over there. Um, and Lee will be on this side of the bed and phew, he's just going to have to live with it, honestly. He gets to keep his pillows. They're really important to him. But otherwise, he knew what he was getting himself into when he married me. I really made a mistake lying down. I may never get up again. Ignore the crumpled spot where I've just been laying. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Also, I feel like it does feel like more space. I hate it because when we, when we first moved into the room, I was like, I want everything to be different. And maybe actually this was the right way. It should have been all along. Also, we got a lot more light this way um, because the headboard was blocking a lot. We don't get a lot of light in this room usually. Anyway, anyway, 
back to the things that I was supposed to be doing. I just messaged with Karen and I said, whole house is a tip. I've got like, I mean, I'll show you from this angle how bad the kitchen is. Um, but I've got like a list as long as my arm of things that need to be done. And so what I did was just move around the bedroom. Because of course. This would have been a better use of my time. It really tickled me the other day because someone commented or they left me a message on Instagram and said that her husband had commented um, while she was watching a vlog. I think it was my like, um, what did I call it? Chaotic energy maybe? Um, and her husband was watching it alongside her and said, is she okay? Um, no, no, she's not okay. I work best in limited time. I kind of cleared the surfaces, I got all the stuff out. So me and Milo, when I go and get him, can finally make the chocolate chip cookies to show you. Also, the kids have been singing a Paramount Plus jingle because apparently it's been sweeping TikTok and I've never heard it before. And I finally heard it just now. Um, is it Sheridan Smith? The actual proper one, because I know on TikTok loads of different people are singing it. But the actual one on the Paramount advert, is it Sheridan Smith? Could it be Sheridan Smith? Has she got anything to do with Paramount? Why do I think it's her? I don't know, answers on a postcard, but do you agree? Butter and sugar, most important is the brown sugar. I'm using dark brown sugar um, and I'm doubling the recipe because I'm gonna make a lot of these. Also, I couldn't find vanilla essence in the cupboard, so I've just used, you know, like the ground vanilla extract. So maybe these are just gonna be bougie. Yum, already looks good. Now for a lot of flour. Also, I couldn't find, <laughs> I had all the ingredients for so long. Um, self radiant flour, so I've mixed plain and a little bit of baking powder. So Milo wanted to make two plain ones and I've made a little bowl of hazelnuts and this is Bourneville that I've just crushed up into chips. And I'm gonna roll a couple of balls in this. And I'm trying a Smarties one in the middle. I think it's about time to take these out. Oh my God, they look delicious. Look at the beautifulness that is. Now, the only thing I was really missing, apart from all the things I mentioned, um, is baking paper which I always have. I can't understand why I haven't got it, but here we are. When they first come out, they'll be quite squidgy. So you have to just give them a minute to set up. I mean, seriously tell me, that's not the best cookie you've ever seen in your entire life. I know, I mean, this might be more your speed, but this for me is like heaven. I'll leave you the link to the blog post below with the full recipe. Basically, I mean, it's the same as any other baking that you do. So you put in kind of the what ingredients first. I do like butter, sugar, eggs, um, all in together. And then I add the flour a little bit at a time. And then it depends on what you want to do in terms of, what's the word I'm looking for? Flavoring. So this time I've just made the dough and it's in the fridge and it'll last probably five days. Um, historically, I have um, put them in balls and put them in the freezer. You can actually bake them straight from frozen, about 20 minutes. It's more like 10, 12 minutes from the fridge, but um, yeah, they're absolutely incredible, pretty much foolproof and uh, I've never made them with Smarties before and they worked out really well. Baby this year it's just gonna be you and me. Hey,